Biblical context, the description of the New Jerusalem is found primarily in Revelation chapters 21 and 22. It follows the account of the final judgment and the destruction of the old earth and old heaven, ushering in a new era where God establishes his eternal kingdom on earth. The Apostle John, the author of Revelation, receives a vision of the New Jerusalem descending from heaven, symbolizing the union of heaven and earth and the fulfillment of God's promises to his people. 2. The city's dimensions, one of the most striking features of the New Jerusalem is its immense size and proportions. According to Revelation chapter 21 verse 16, the city is a perfect cube. With each side measuring 12,000 stadia, which is approximately 1,400 miles or 2,200 kilometers. This colossal size emphasizes the grandeur and magnificence of the city, signifying its significance as the dwelling place of God and his redeemed people. 3. The walls and gates, the city is described as having high walls made of jasper, a precious gemstone known for its brilliance and variety of colors. The gates of the city are made of pearl, each gate carved from a single pearl, symbolizing purity and value. The twelve gates are inscribed with the names of the twelve tribes of Israel, signifying the inclusion of God's chosen people in the eternal kingdom. 5. The streets and purity. The streets of the New Jerusalem are described as pure gold, as transparent as glass. This imagery conveys the idea of purity and perfection, highlighting the holiness and righteousness of the city. The transparency of the gold symbolizes the absence of impurity or corruption, reflecting the flawless nature of God's kingdom. 6. The Temple in God's Presence. In the center of the city stands the Temple of God, described as not needing the sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God illuminates it. The presence of God fills the city with light, symbolizing His eternal presence in the absence of darkness or night. The temple is open to all inhabitants of the city, allowing unrestricted access to the presence of God for worship and communion. 7. The River of Life, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, down the middle of the city street, is the river of the water of life, clear as crystal. This river symbolizes the source of eternal life and spiritual nourishment for the inhabitants of the city. Along the banks of the river grows the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruit and yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations, symbolizing the restoration and renewal of all creation in God's kingdom. 8. Eternal Joy and Fellowship The New Jerusalem is described as a place of eternal joy, where God will wipe away every tear from the eyes of his people, and there will be no more death, mourning, crying, or pain. The inhabitants of the city will enjoy intimate fellowship with God, serving him day and night in his temple. They will reign with him forever, experiencing the fullness of his love, Peace and Glory. 9. Exclusion of Evil. Revelation emphasizes that nothing impure will ever enter the city, nor will anyone who does what is shameful or deceitful. Only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life will be allowed to enter the New Jerusalem. This underscores the idea of the city as a place of perfect holiness and righteousness. Free from the presence of sin or evil. 10. The Marriage Supper of the Lamb. The vision concludes with the invitation for all who are thirsty to come and drink from the water of life freely. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come! And let the one who hears say, Come! Let the one who is thirsty come, and let the one who wishes take the free gift of the water of life. This invitation extends to all humanity, inviting them to partake in the blessings of God's kingdom and to experience the fullness of His salvation and grace. Symbolism of Judgment and Divine Intervention The drying up of the Euphrates River in certain biblical passages is symbolic of God's judgment and intervention in human affairs. It represents the collapse of earthly powers and the establishment of God's sovereignty. 6. Spiritual Symbolism Beyond its geographical and historical significance, the Euphrates River holds spiritual symbolism in the Bible. It represents the barrier between humanity and God, which is overcome through faith and obedience. 7. Eschatological Significance In eschatological contexts, the Euphrates River is associated with the final battle between good and evil. It is mentioned as a gathering place for armies in preparation for the Battle of Armageddon. 8. Interpretation and Study Given its multifaceted symbolism and significance, the Euphrates River has been a subject of interpretation and study among theologians, scholars, and believers throughout history. People may be googling about the Euphrates River in the Bible to gain insights into its spiritual meanings and implications for their faith. In conclusion, the Euphrates River's prominence in biblical literature as a geographical, historical, 
and symbolic entity ensures its enduring relevance and interest among those seeking to understand its deeper significance within the context of religious beliefs and narratives. The Euphrates River is a significant geographical feature mentioned in the Bible, particularly in the Old Testament. It is often associated with the region where the ancient Mesopotamian civilizations thrive. In biblical narratives, it serves as a boundary marker and a point of reference for the land promised to the Israelites. Therefore, people may search for the Euphrates River to better understand its role in defining the borders of the promised land. 2. Historical and cultural significance, throughout biblical history, the Euphrates River was a vital waterway influencing trade routes, military campaigns, and cultural exchanges. It was a symbol of power and prosperity but also represented the realm of foreign nations and potential threats to Israel. People may be interested in learning about the historical context surrounding the Euphrates River to gain insights into the challenges faced by biblical figures and the interactions between different civilizations. 3. Symbolism in Prophetic Literature The Euphrates River holds symbolic significance in prophetic literature, particularly in apocalyptic texts such as the Book of Revelation. In these passages, the drying up or overflowing of the Euphrates River is often interpreted as a sign of impending judgment, divine intervention, or the fulfillment of eschatological prophecies. People may search for references to the Euphrates River in the Bible to explore its symbolic meanings and implications for end-time events. 4. Biblical Prophecies and End-Time Scenarios The Euphrates River is mentioned in several prophecies concerning future events, including the gathering of armies for the Battle of Armageddon. According to biblical interpretations, the Euphrates River will play a significant role in the unfolding of God's plan for the end times. Therefore, individuals interested in eschatology and end time scenarios may search for biblical passages mentioning the Euphrates River to better understand these prophecies and their potential implications. 5. Spiritual and Symbolic Interpretations Beyond its geographical and historical significance, the Euphrates River holds spiritual symbolism in the Bible. It can represent barriers to spiritual growth, the struggle between good and evil, or the journey towards redemption and salvation. People may search for references to the Euphrates River in the Bible to explore its symbolic meanings and apply them to their own spiritual journey or theological ref According to the Bible, specifically the book of Revelation in chapters 21 and 22, the New Jerusalem is described as a magnificent city that descends from heaven to the new earth after the final judgment. Here's a detailed description based on biblical passages, 1. Divine origin and appearance, the new Jerusalem comes down from heaven as a bride adorned for her husband, Revelation chapter 21 verse 2. This imagery symbolizes the city's purity, beauty, and connection to God. The city shines with the glory of God, and its brilliance is compared to a most precious jewel, like jasper, clear as crystal, Revelation chapter 21 verse 11. Its appearance radiates divine majesty and splendor. 2. Dimensions and Design The city is described as a perfect cube, with each side measuring 12,000 stadia, which is approximately 1,400 miles or 2,200 kilometers, Revelation chapter 21 verse 16. Its immense size signifies its significance and grandeur. The walls of the city are made of jasper, and the city itself is pure gold, like clear glass, Revelation chapter 21 verse 18. These materials symbolize purity, beauty, and the preciousness of the city. 3. Gates and Foundations The city has 12 gates, each made of a single pearl. And each gate is inscribed with the name of one of the 12 tribes of Israel, Revelation chapter 21 verses 12 to 13. These gates symbolize access to the city for God's chosen people. The foundations of the city walls are adorned with 12 different precious stones, each representing one of the 12 apostles of the Lamb, Revelation chapter 21 verses 14, 19 to 20. These stones symbolize the spiritual foundation of the city and its connection to the apostolic tradition. 4. The presence of God, the glory of God illuminates the city. And the Lamb, Jesus Christ, is its lamp, Revelation chapter 21 verse 23. The divine presence fills the city with light, symbolizing God's eternal presence in the absence of darkness or evil. The throne of God and of the Lamb is in the city, and his servants will serve him and see his face, Revelation chapter 22 verses 3 to 4. The presence of God in the city signifies communion with him and eternal worship. 5. The river of life and tree of life, in the middle of the city street is the river of the water of life. Clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, Revelation chapter 22 verse 1. This river symbolizes the source of eternal life and spiritual nourishment. 
On either side of the river is the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruit and yielding its fruit every month, with leaves for the healing of the nations, Revelation chapter 22 verse 2. The tree of life represents eternal sustenance and healing for all who dwell in the city. 6. Eternal joy and fellowship, God will wipe away every tear from the eyes of his people, and there will be no more death, mourning, crying, or pain, Revelation chapter 21 verse 4. The city is a place of eternal joy, peace, and restoration. The inhabitants of the city will reign forever and ever, serving God and enjoying intimate fellowship with him, Revelation chapter 22 verse 5. They will experience the fullness of his love, presence, and blessings for all eternity. In summary, according to the Bible, the New Jerusalem is a heavenly city of unparalleled beauty, purity, and glory. It is a place where God's presence shines forth, and His people dwell in eternal joy, fellowship, and communion with Him. Please subscribe my YouTube channel I hope you like this video thank you.